Okay, so we're going to look at slope and f of x number lines. Okay, there are two types of number lines which sort of help us extract key information um, from a function or a function's graph. Okay, so first, let's talk about what an f of x number line is. And we'll draw one for this picture here. An f of x number line uh, represents y values of the function are positive, negative, zero, or do like this. Okay, so the key thing that you want to uh, the key thing you want to associate with f of x number line is that it focuses on the y values of the function. Okay, so we're going to make an f of x number line for this picture above. So I'm going to make a line, and I'm going to put arrows on both ends because there are also arrows on my function. Okay, there are arrows on the graph. All right, and I'm going to put an x here because what I'm going to put down below are key x values. And we'll put there an f of x, and we'll put f of x since I'm uh, making an f of x number line. So that's key. Okay, so what I'm going to focus on is I'm going to focus on the y values as I read this graph from left to right. So as I move from left to right, the y values are positive until I get to 1. So it looks like 1 is the point in which the y values change from, posit from being positive to negative. So I'm going to put 1 on the number line. Now 1 is a 0, so I'm going to put a z there just to remind myself that there's a 0 there. And to the left of 1, the y values are positive. So I'll just emphasize that means y values are positive. Okay? Now as I continue from left to right, from um, to the right of 1, the y values are negative, they're negative, they're negative, until I get to 5, which is another 0, so I'm going to put a z there. And so in between 1 and 5, the y values are negative. So I'm just going to take a note for you, y values are negative, that's what that means. That's what that negative means. Okay? And then as I continue on, past 5, the y values to the right of 5 are positive. And they're, they're going to continue to be positive because of the arrow here. There's no indication that it's going to change after that, so I assume that it's positive. Okay? Um, so key, um, the x values that are going to go on your f of x number line will often be, so the key x values, we'll call them sort of the changing points, Uh, include zeros, vertical asymptotes, holes, um, and I think that's it. Okay, and that's it uh, for the moment. That's, those are the key ones. Those are the x values that are going to often go at the at the bottom. In this case, there were only zeros, the one and the five. Okay, but in other examples, you'll see ones where vertical asymptotes or holes are appropriate. Okay, and we will label those appropriately with v's, va's, and H, uh, h's, etc. Okay, we're going to do a slope number line for this. The slope number line extracts a different uh, different idea from this graph. It doesn't so much talk about when it doesn't talk about when the y values are positive or negative. It doesn't refer to the y values in that sense. It refers to the slopes of the graph. In other words, when the graph is increasing and decreasing as you move from left to right. So slope number lines represents when the graph is increasing. Decreasing, or neither increasing or decreasing. 
Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make a slope number line for this graph, but we're going to pay attention to where the graph is increasing and decreasing. So I'm going to make my number line. I'm going to put arrows on the end like I did before because there are arrows, um, two arrows on in the graph above. And I'm going to put x here because I'm putting x values there, but I'm going to put slope so that I can identify that I'm making a slope number line. All right, so now we read the graph from left to right. What you want to pay attention to is, is the graph rising or falling? Is it increasing or decreasing? So it looks like we are decreasing as we move from left to right. Okay, again, when I say move from left to right, start to the very left of the picture and move, move right. The graph is going down, it's, it's falling, and it's falling all the way until 3. So 3 is going to go on the number line. And to the left of 3, the graph is decreasing as I go from left to right. So notice this negative sign in a slope number line means something completely different than the negative sign in the f of x number line. In a slope number line, it means that the graph is decreasing there. Okay. Um, as we move past 3, right, if we move from left to right, Past three, the graph starts to rise. Okay, and it continues rising afterwards. So we put a plus there. Okay, and that means that the graph is increasing. Okay, so notice at this point, if I asked you, uh, when is the graph increasing and decreasing, you could say it's increasing, and you could just read the number line, it's increasing from three to infinity, and we include 3, we put a hard bracket on the 3 for reasons that I will, I can explain more in detail, um, either to you in person or um, in another video, but for now, just keep in mind that 3 needs to be included, and it's decreasing from negative infinity to 3. Okay, um, before I, so that, there's the two types of new lines that we're going to be looking at in this course. Before I move on, I want to uh, define what's called the critical point. Okay, a critical point is a point in the interior of the domain. zero or does not exist. Okay, so that's what a critical point is. It's where the, the slope is zero or does not exist. Critical points always go on your slope number lines. Okay, so in this case, three, uh, three is a critical point because the slope is zero there. And what I mean by the slope is zero is if you draw a line that goes through the graph right at that point, 3 comma, I don't have the y value, but if you draw a line that just skims it, just barely touches it, the slope of that line, which is called the tangent line, which you'll learn later on in the year, uh, the slope of that line is zero. Okay, so the slope of the, the curve, we'd say, is zero at that point. Okay, there are also moments where the, the slope does not exist um, as we get into more and more uh, specific examples. I will draw your attention to those. I might even do another video which captures uh, doing this process. Uh, through an example, but the bottom line is uh, we have two types of number lines we use, an f of x and a slope number line, and you do want to make sure you understand what they both, uh, what ideas they extract from the graph. 